Kings hosting the Blue Jackets. The Blue Jackets are plus 202 on the money line. The Kings are minus 250. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Kings laying a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 102, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. And the Blue Jackets getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 118, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. They played once this year or this season in Columbus, and the Kings won that game 4-3 to three in OT. It is supposed to be Merz Lincolns, who has been confirmed, and Riddich, who has not for the Kings. Head-to-head, -head, the Kings are 6-4. and four. The Kings are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The favorite has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10, including the last game they played against each other. And the under 6.5 goals is 6-4 and four in their last 10, but the game they played earlier this season went over. The Blue Jackets are... Two and two in their last four. One goal, six goals, nine goals, seven goals. One goal and a win, two goals and a loss, three goals and a loss, and then four goals in a win. They should be rested for this game tomorrow. And for the Kings, they are on a three-game winning streak. They are three and one in their last four. Seven goals, three goals, nine goals, three goals. Shut out in a loss, two goals and a win, five goals and an overtime win, and then two goals and a win. The last three games that they won were one goal games. So I'm going to take the Kings with the money line. I will take the Blue Jackets getting the goals and I'll bank on the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.